Oh. oh, we have a big bump ahead. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hello, travel mate. Welcome back to our channel. We're in the province of Suratani in the area near Kausok National Park. But today, we're not visiting the popular lake. We already did that, and you can check it out on this video. On today's episode, we're gonna show you a hidden gem that we got recommended by locals here in this area. For that, we had to leave our accommodation in Kaosok and ride to the east for about 50 minutes. The roads on the area are easy and they don't have much traffic. The landscape is impressive, constantly surrounded by karst mountains and green jungles. We felt like in a road movie in search of adventure. And we actually got into some adventure since we went into the mangrove jungle alone on the boat. But we will leave that for later. Our journey started in KK Park Resort, an accommodation we booked near Kaosok National Park. We rented our scooter from there for 300 Thai baht per day, which is more expensive than the usual 200 or 150 a day in other areas, but still way cheaper than what a taxi would cost to take you as far as we were going and back. It was a pretty sunny day, very hot, but the wind was refreshing. We passed by small villages and incredible landscapes with dense forests and jungles. And at some point, we left the main road to head to Bannamrat Headwaters Forest. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss further episodes. So it's been a long ride. I'm a bit tired, but it seems we are very near. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The road is a bit bumpy here. You can tell we are near because yeah, the road is less asphalted and a bit more jungly. But the views, man, oh my god, the landscapes, super beautiful. Oh, we have a big bump ahead. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm checking the map at the same time. So. No, oh, wow, there's no network here. Hey, hey, language. Oh. It's oh okay, god. we have the map and GPS. Yeah, because we're in the middle of the jungle. We have a big uh, water ahead. I hope I can pass. No, no, no. No. Hey. I don't think many people come here. <laughs> yeah, it's not way. very, not very indicated, we can say. Uh, but I, I think it's here. This reminds me of the Takjak Loop, that straight road heading to the mountains, remember? Oh, wow, this is very so cool. So cool. So it's a new road. Yeah, it looks kind of flattened recently, no? It doesn't have any bumps yet. There's a cafe here, cool, look at that cafe. And we entered to the jungle. Uh, might be parking entrance fee. Oh. What a nice bike ride. All right, so here we are. I think we have to pay 10 bucks for the for the parking fee, right? Okay. Ah, okay. It was a bit long ride. Very long But ride. I guess it's gonna be worth it. I mean, I already have good vibes. I thought it would be more like a, an abandoned place, but it has like a little cafe, some food stalls, I think, or juice, or... I hope we're in the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing these on Google. Oh, this, okay. this crap. Look at this crap. Crap, people. Yeah. Does it mean there are crabs inside? It's... Let's explore a bit the shops. I'm not super thirsty or hungry, but I just want to take a look at what's available and everything. Yeah, Jordi likes to take each shops like five minutes yeah. each. Tabarika. Okay, we have some fruits here. Nice. Parisa. Oh, instant noodles if you want. No? You feel like eating instant noodles? Tabatika. I think this is a place that it's usually 
visited by locals or oh, cool. domestic oh fried noodles. Wow, <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah. Barbecue chicken. So after swimming Amarica. we could come here and have some lunch. Exactly. Oh, oh nice. Wow, good. Hello. <laughs> and then some more barbecue. Tabarica. Tabarica. This looks good. Tabarica. Tabarica. Fresh fish. No, it's look at this crab. Wow, it looks good. Papaya salad. Ah, papaya salad. Okay. Papaya salad. And some uh, souvenirs that I still don't understand if they sell or not. Anyway, good, good stuff. Let's head to the the main attraction of the day. Oh, look, they have this little swing here. Oh, I already wanted me to try all the things. Let's. Okay, let's. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah. What's the point of that? Yeah. <laughs> so we thought this was a ticket fee, no? Yeah, it's just for safety. They, they make you write the phone number, your name, in case you don't call back. And this entrance gives me totally Let me check Jurassic it. Park vibes. There's a signal now. <gasps> what you have there's, to check is... There's no signal. Ticket yeah, office. Right. Oh, this is the ticket office, okay. So it doesn't say anything of um, English. Two people. No, no. Rowing? Rowing? Uh, uh, you want rowing or one okay. fifty each? Yeah, whatever. You yeah. want to try? Yeah. We came here without any research, <laughs> and <laughs> it seems like there's some kind of activities that we can do. Uh, rowing. Rowing, so we, like boat, no? Kayaking, yeah, boat, some kind rowing, of... or something. So we're gonna try this. Try that. Yeah, there's more juice snack bar. It feels very quiet. It's a Thursday, so I'm guessing not many people have a day off. Oh, you can put your stuff inside. Yeah, but I don't sh I'm not sure if we should. Because we need to carry most of the sure. stuff. Abadika. Abadika. English? No, Thai. <laughs> no? Can we so, go? This, a backpack? Like, Ah, backpack inside. So when we were about to enter the place, uh, they told us that you cannot carry any bags inside. No backpacks, no, no handbags, backpacks, no bags no at all. No thing. So we were like, oh, what are we going to do with our camera and camera equipment and all? And then they say, okay, you can carry like dedicated bag for a camera, like small bag, that is okay, which is... I don't consider this as a bag, no. but kind of, yeah. And then, uh, okay, so we're carrying this and then we had to leave everything back there uh, in the locker. So I don't know, like, if we're gonna row the boat, where are we gonna put our stuff inside, like, safely? So we were a bit, like, you know, sending messages back using Google Translator because there was no one speaking English. That, that's, okay, that's totally fine. But anyway, uh, that's what happened. And yeah, if you yeah. come here, know in advance that you cannot enter with a bag just how did she put it on the text she said like only with bare hands whatever you can carry with bare hands or in pockets like i'm carrying right now i'm walking a bit unbalanced because i'm carrying the battery pack here and the microphone and whatever um this looks like that to, to the left just a little negative note as soon as we arrived i hope as soon as we get into the lagoon things change and we get in a better mood but to be honest, I'm a bit pissed right now. A rowing, ah, rowing boat is boat. here. Okay, I hope it's worth. Okay. Oh, people are oh, just floating around. Oh, it's like a pool. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay, check it out. I mean, I don't know why they don't allow us to carry our backpack. Know. There's no, know. there's no. I mean. I don't know, but it's cool. Oh wow. Tabarica. Wow. This is nice, okay. I mean, the rowing is, was totally not necessary. I mean, we would... The what? The rowing was totally yeah, not necessary. We, we no, could have just enjoyed there. here. We can go farther there. Okay. You want to chupi chupi first and then row? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we... Okay. Look at this. It's completely transparent, the water. Tadika. Oh, my God. Hello. Super clean. Little fish. Wow, Some so cool. Fish. Why don't we walk? Okay, now I'm happy. This Why is a nice place. A We're going to walk a little bit around here. Cool. Oh, 
Wow. Hey, did you expect something like this or no? No, I didn't expect this at all. See? It feels really cool. Oh, wow, nice. Obviously, you can see it's kind of man-made, artificial, with all these rocks and all that stuff, but... You think? Still. They, of course. I mean, look at all the concrete. or something? I'm not... I don't know. I don't know. Pretty cool. Oh. Let me take a quick tour. What? I feel like I cannot enter with the bikini. Why? I'm going to become the center of attention. No. Oh, really? <laughs> Definitely. Maybe. Yeah, even guys are wearing t-shirts. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure. But the thing is, we're not carrying change of clothes, so... It's okay. I'm sure they are. They have many foreigners here. It's okay. It's fine. But yeah, just, just so you know that you might feel a little bit strange. Um, entering with the bikini probably that that's how i feel actually right now so because you're more asian i mean you're asian not more just asian <laughs> no? i don't know because i don't see anyone with the bikini that's why everybody's wearing everybody's in the water but with, a, with the clothes on yeah so i'm not really sure oh, look at this fish here ah but it's beautiful okay let, let's drop our stuff and do a little bit of swimming This is just an amazing place. It's it's man-made, of course. You can see a lot of concrete around, but it's impressive. And the water is so clean. There's a lot of fish around. It's just beautiful. Mm. How do you like it? Pretty good. You still shy with the bikini? Everybody's looking at me, but no. I think it's okay. Really? <laughs> just maybe I'm just self-conscious. Maybe. Okay, so now we're gonna try to get one of the boats and row. They told us it's about three kilometers, which is quite a long way. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe if we get tired, we just return and come back. I was wondering, because we are in the middle of the jungle, right? There must be animals coming here to this water at some point. Who controls that? Who controls that there's no crocodiles or whatever? Wild animals coming here waiting for the humans to have a snack bite. I don't know. If you're wondering how is the floor, it's sand actually. It's like beach. Actually, it feels like a beach. Or if you've been to a lake, it feels a bit like a, the mud of a lake, but it's not muddy actually, it's just sand. Sand like on a beach and a little bit of this, uh, I don't know, kind of a wheat or whatever. Lake wheat, not seaweed. You good for rowing? Let's go into the jungle. This is so cool, man. Hey, hey, hey. Push it back. Why this boat keeps spinning, man? No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry.
de 6 minutos. And the water here is not that clean or clear bucket. Pretty amazing experience, right? I'm tired, eh? I feel tired. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Huh? Very nice. Yeah, very cool. I like it. Really unexpected. Yeah, except for the spinnings with the <laughs> with the boat. It was really nice. Yeah, if you guys are coming here, uh, yeah, bring bring towel so you get changed because there's a shower room and everything. But if it's sunny, you yeah, might dry with really the good. sun like we did. Now we are starving, so we're gonna check these uh, small food stalls and maybe grab some I don't know fried rice or. Oh, fried rice, <laughs> fried rice sounds good. Fried rice, rice, rice. Yes, yeah, like a over lunch then. Yeah, I mean, it's almost 5 p.m. Uh, I don't mind some chicken, man. Oh, we can order fried rice and stuff here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good luck asking because everything is in Thai. Uh, do you have fried rice? Yeah? You want or not? Yeah. Well, what fried rice? Chicken fried rice? Vegetable fried rice? Uh, mm, ah. Fried rice, no? Fried rice? Okay. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's fried rice, that's right? That's fried rice. Yeah. Chicken, chicken, chicken fried rice. You? Yeah, same. Two. Two chicken fried rice. Let's sit there, let's sit there. Finally, some fried rice. It looks good. Yeah. I mean, we pay 120 for, for both, so 60 each is quite. Quite, uh, quite good price. Yeah, so it was very worth to come here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please subscribe so you won't miss further episodes about Thailand and travel and us. <laughs> yeah, and also please click like to the video if you like this uh, episode. So we're gonna have a late lunch. It's already 4.30 p.m. I'm starving. <laughs> All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye, see you soon. It's actually nice. Where you put it? Oh yeah, on the way back we went to this Japanese garden cafe to contemplate the sunset from the rooftop viewpoint. It was amazing. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.